What is up, Karatics? Welcome back to the series where I customize and review past DLC and OG vehicles that I never got the chance to because I didn't start making car customization videos till about late 2015. Again, guys, let me know in the comments what car from late 2015 and older you guys want me to customize next, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next customization video. So in today's video, we're going to be customizing the Anis LG RH8. So this car is an OG vehicle that's been in the game since day one, sort of. The only way to get this car back then was to create a social club account and have it linked to your gamer tag. I'm sure most of you remember this from back in the day. And a lot of you actually just created an account super quickly just to get the car and then forgot your passwords, your email. <laughs> and then somewhere along the line, Rockstar did make it available to all players, but it did cost money this time around. I think it was when the LG Retro Custom release Rockstar actually allowed you to purchase it for $95,000 if you did not have a social club account. And getting it for free with the social club account, of course, did still work, but there was an alternate method if you didn't have one. So this car can be acquired from either the Legendary Motorsport website or the Benny's website. Of course, if you have a social club stuff linked up, you'd get it for free. If not, you'd have to pay $95,000 for it. Now this car is actually pretty good in terms of customization for a 2013 vehicle. And in terms of performance, this car is in the sports car class and was actually the king for most sports car tracks for about four years up until the Pariah released. And even now, it's still in top 10 for most sports car racetracks for a car that's basically free from 2013. I mean, that's just incredible to think about. But with everything that's free, there is a catch. And for this car, that is difficulty. This car is very difficult to drive if you're not that great at racing or you barely race. This car takes a lot of skill and practice to get it right because it loves to oversteer and spin out when you go into a corner too violently with not enough throttle control and very aggressive steering inputs. And when you come out of a corner, if you're too aggressive to get back on the throttle a little too early, it does understeer kind of like an electric car which will heavily force you into the outside of the corner into a tree or post. So that's why you might hear a lot of people say that it's awful to drive, it has awful handling. It doesn't, it just takes a lot of skill to drive it properly. But anyways, the LG RH8 is very obviously primarily based on the R35 Nissan GTR. And with it being a very popular car in real life back in 2013, it made sense for Rockstar to use it as a free incentive to get players to create social club accounts and join crews and all that stuff. But Anyways, let's go ahead and check out the customization of this OG sports car king. Alright, the LG RH8. Alright, so the first thing we're going to look at here is the LG Retro Custom Conversion Cost. So this is the Benny's upgrade, of course, to convert it into the LG Retro Custom, which is mainly based on the R33. This, of course, is the R35, as we talked about earlier. That is $900,000, and believe it or not, uh, this conversion cost for Benny's uh, came out back in 2016, so it's been almost five years since this last came out. I mean, time really does fly for those of you OGs who've been playing GTA Online for a while, but anyways, even more OG is this car, of course. So armor, brakes, bumpers. And keep in mind that we're going through all these upgrades, Rockstar has not gone back and added any extra upgrades to the regular version of this car. These are all standard, all the way back from day one of GTA Online, you know, 2013, so keep that in mind. So, carbon front splitter, love that. Got the Anis logo there, and it's carbon fiber, of course, versus the stock one, um, which I think is gloss, but it also has some carbon on it. Okay, and it also adds like a nice vent down there. And then you have a primary splitter with the canards. Um, I personally like the carbon on the front. I feel like it looks a lot better. So we're going to do the carbon front splitter. Rear bumper. So you have the carbon rear diffuser, painted rear stock, and then painted bumper with diffuser. Now the only thing I don't like about this diffuser is the annoying sticker. I'm sure a lot of people in the community agree with me. <laughs> that annoying sticker that's forced on there. But... I mean, I guess that's part of the character of this car, so I guess we'll do the carbon uh, rear diffuser, might as well. Okay, engine, exhaust, so you got, uh, let me rev it up here a little bit, you got dual titanium exhaust, then you have the race exhaust. 
So this is titanium, but then these are also titanium, just bigger. <laughs> Uh, I definitely like these. This that's probably like the number one aftermarket exhaust GTR owners put on their car. Giant titanium exhaust system. So that's what we're gonna do. The big tips. All right, now grill. So you have black grill. So look at the difference here. So it adds a grill to it. Okay, and you have exposed intercooler with a tow hook, which I personally like. Now supposedly this upgrade does change the engine model. So at its twin turbo, which I think is pretty cool, um, from what I've read. So, I like that a lot, so we'll do that. All right, we got hood, so you have vented hood. Looks pretty good. You have the double vented hood, and then you have carbon stock. Um, I mean, the vents are a little excessive on this car, but I feel like the double vented hood makes this giant one look a little smaller, I guess. And it doesn't look too bad, it looks okay. <laughs> so, you know, might as well, we'll just throw it on there. Okay, we got lights, there's some xenons, yes. No rush at all. Okay, license plate, so I already have my four paw uh, plate on it. <laughs> uh, my custom plate there. I'm gonna leave that, you know, let's just give it a black background. And up. then, uh, respray. So for this color, you know, I, I feel like I'm going the usual GTR route. With, uh, I am gonna do blue, you know, <laughs> I know it's... It's kind of common for, you know, blue GTRs and such, but I'm going to do a little bit of a different blue. So, oh, we're already in metallic, my bad. So I'm going to go the metallic uh, dark blue. Go here. And then we're going to throw an ultra blue pearlescent on it to bring out the pearl. And you can see it looks really good there. The pearl really comes out, it looks really good. And then the secondary color, as you can already see, is the uh, roof, the hood, and the mirrors. And also the stitching in the interior, um, which when we go to secondary, we'll go here, you can see the stitching changing there. So that's pretty cool. It's only on the seats? Oh, a little bit on the dash, too. Okay. So I mean, it's pretty nice secondary color. Um, even though I don't really like it too much on this car, if I'm being honest. I, I'm not I'm a big fan of the two-tone look on cars. So I'm just going to go ahead and make it match. I'm going to go to the dark blue. Or are you dark blue? There we go. Your chromalome goes right there on the hood. Very OG. A lot of the newer cars have them on the doors, um, so <laughs> on the hood is a little strange. Um, we got roll cage. So this one, surprisingly, most of the time this upgrade changes it to a more like racing seat, even though these are kind of already racing seats, but usually it puts it like a really cool looking red racing seat but this one just keeps the stock interior and then it just adds a roll cage to it and something I find kind of funny the trim on the driver's side seat is red but then the trim on the pat in the rear seats is orange <laughs> that's a little a little weird and of course the texture quality back there is god awful but you know what do you expect from 2013 okay roof so you have carbon roof I absolutely love this upgrade now I'm not too much of a big fan of two-tone but when you do carbon fiber roof or something like that or a black roof that's something I do like and I like how they incorporated the um, rear kind of pillars area it, it really makes it look set kind of separates the lines of the car which I really like um, and I think that's a really nice upgrade so we're gonna do that uh, side skirts, so you have the first option, which is just an extended primary. Then you have a custom skirt 2, which is extended carbon. Okay. Then you have a custom skirt 4. So this one adds, it actually adds like a little wide body to the back, as you can see. Which I think is really nice. It kind of matches the front of the car. Um, which does look pretty good. Now, the only issue here is if you want to make it match your front carbon splitter and your rear diffuser, you're going to have to choose the last option, uh, which kind of ties it all together. Some people don't like it. I think it's kind of weird looking how you have the carbon back here and then the primary color in the front, but then putting this option, it looks even worse in my opinion, you know, all one color. So, um, and I do want that kind of subtle wide body in the back, so I am going to do the carbon, the last option there. Now, in terms of spoiler upgrade, this is the stock spoiler, um, and of course, you can, you know, since it's free, you can buy it a hundred times, <laughs> try to get it with the, uh, it's kind of random whether you get it without the spoiler or not, or I think on this one, you can do the glitch to get rid of it, yeah, there you go, you can do the glitch to get rid of it as well, so, that's pretty nice, um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go through all the options here, 
So you have a high level uh, spoiler, you have the tuner wing, and you have the carbon, and then the GT spoiler. So, GT wing, I should say. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to go with the, um, where is it, the high level spoiler. I personally love this one, it looks very OEM, and I like the uh, the carbon at the top. It just really uh, suits this car very well, and it kind of matches our roof and carbon. So we're going to do that. Suspension. This car definitely needs to be lowered. It's way too high for my taste. Um, and this one actually it has a nice difference in suspension. A lot of the OG cars, um, when you uh, the lowest option is like here. <laughs> That's as far as it goes. It's like four options, but it only goes down a tiny bit, like that much. Um, this one actually goes even further, which I like. So competition suspension, we'll do that. Transmission, turbo. All right, wheels. So I, I kind of want to do something similar to the stock wheels, but with a uh, wider deep dish. And thankfully, with the street wheels they added with the last summer update, we do have that. So we're going to go here to, where is it? Uh, the doo -doo, These right here, the Endo V4 dish. Look at that. The deep dish. It looks so, so good. And then we'll go to wheel color. And I'm not going to do black, don't worry. <laughs> I am going to do the dark copper. And it actually looks really good against the uh, the blue. I think it just look, it really sets it off, kind of separates the lines. I think it looks really, really clean. Um, and then in terms of windows, we have, you know, black it out or whatever you want to do. This interior is kind of ugly, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. You know, 2013 interior with red gauges and red trim and then orange trim in the back. It's just all over the place. So um, I am going to do, uh, I guess we'll do limo tints, might as well. And then that's all the options there. All right, let's go ahead and take it for a drive. Looks so, so good. A lot better than stock. <laughs> and again, for 2013, very good customization. All right, let's rev it up a bit. Sounds very good. All right, let's floor it. This car is all-wheel drive. A little bit of wheel spin, not much though. Incredible acceleration. The AI. <laughs> I love the traffic in this game. <laughs> oh my gosh, somebody fast is coming towards me. Let me turn right into them. <laughs> oh my god. Great. There we go. So, about the performance of this car, that was sort of the. Well, other than the fact that it was free from the social club thing, that was sort of the main reason that people bought this car. Um, this thing was actually at the top of the sports class in terms of uh, lap time performance for a very, very long time. From day one of GTA Online all the way to, um, I think when the Pariah came out with the Doomsday Heist, like in 2017, I think that was the car that took down this one in terms of lap time. And I mean, and it took that. <laughs> To beat it now obviously a lot of cars have come out over the years uh, but this car uh, still remains in top 10 um, around most uh, tracks uh, sports car tracks that is and it's free I mean that's pretty incredible uh, to think about um, now the issue with this car is that it's very difficult to drive if you're a novice in terms of uh, driving you find yourself spinning out a lot on a lot of cars um, this is not gonna be an easy driving experience for you this car loves to spin out if you're not careful. I mean, it takes a lot of throttle control to to keep it literally in control. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love the traffic in this game. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, that, that's the issue with this car is the handling and getting used to the way it drives. Um, if you turn really hard, like, let's see here, I mean, let me forcefully try to get it to spin out. Oh, I'm not paying attention there. Go there. I mean, right, right now it's driving pretty well, but um, when it's like bumpy roads and such, let's see right here, full lock, see right there, spun on its own, um, was bumps in that area, full steering lock. This one you gotta baby the throttle and the steering a little more, you gotta be very careful with your steering inputs. And once you get it right, this thing is an incredible driving experience. And the way it accelerates out of the corners is very similar to an electric car, you get that nice push but it also understeers a lot coming out of the corner. So you gotta be very careful. When you floor it, you gotta be pointing in the direction you wanna go. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta be very, very careful when you, the way you drive this car. 
but um, absolutely incredible. I, I personally love the way it drives, and I like the fact that it takes a little more skill to get it to go quick around corners and such. Um, absolutely awesome car. I mean, I'll never sell it, obviously, based on a GTR and uh, free and the fact that it drives so nice and all that. Um, I think it's an awesome, awesome car to own. All right, let me pull over here. Let's go ahead and open all the doors. I passed it. Vehicle doors. See? Look at that with the spoiler that pops up. That's so cool. I don't think I've ever opened the trunk on this car. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's so cool. Opening with a spoiler there. Got the interior. You got orange trim floor mats. Orange trim rear. And you got red uh, driver, passenger, and then red gauges all over the place this car <laughs> got the engine bay there twin turbos look at that it's with the carbon fiber wow that is that's nice i mean come on 2013 look at it <laughs> it looks that's pretty nice you know that's that's not bad super super nice not bad at all especially you know you can again still get it for free <laughs> Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to let me know down below in the comments what vehicle from late 2015 at older you guys want me to customize next. And I will make sure to display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next customization video. And this video is actually going to decide the next two vehicles I would be customizing because next week I'm going on vacation and such. So I'm going to be pre-recording um, those two videos a little earlier, probably like Friday or Sunday. I'm not too sure yet. Um, but that's when I'm going to be I'm recording those. So, again, the top two comments will decide the next two customizations. Well, anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.